How was that concept created, and how was the cone of silence utilized throughout the run of the show? Uh, well, it diminished, as you know, because uh, ultimately it became pre- predictable, and we couldn't find variations on it. Mm-hmm. But the cone of silence, uh, I think, was Buck's, and the uh, shoe phone was Mel's, or reverse, because I've forgotten now. Right. But each had individually come up with that. The concept of what it would look like was a collaborative effort. Uh, we said, what does the cone of silence look like? <laughs> And, it, and and ultimately, we knew it had to be plastic, so it was diaphanous. You could see through it. Uh, and it had to have a, a, a hollow sound, which we ultimately added an echo feeling. And it should imprison them. And then it became a matter of how many different variations. The cone coming all the way down and driving into the floor. Mm-hmm. The cone spinning, possibly. <laughs> uh so and then how many did you get into how many does a cone fit right so so it was it it disappeared uh probably in the first year and uh, uh, made an occasional appearance in subsequent years. Yeah, my favorite alteration in that bit was when the Cone of Silence came all the way down and crushed the chief's desk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it was fun because it was a challenge. Leonard, tell us about the genesis of Get Smart. I- I'm sorry, Jim, but there are many um, confidential details regarding the behind-the-scenes machinations of network deal-making that I, I-, I can't uh, simply divulge in, in public. If it's essential that you know this information, I'll tell you in confidence, but I'll, I'll have to insist that we use the cone of silence. The, the cone of silence, Leonard? Yeah, Jim, I'm afraid it's absolutely necessary for the continuation of this interview. Uh, but, Leonard, we've been having terrible technical difficulties with the cone of silence. It was repaired recently, but I can't guarantee its reliability. It's either that or we talk about run, buddy, run. All right. Uh, Ed, activate the cone of silence. Now, as, as I was saying about the genesis of Get Smart... What, what did you say? <clears throat> um, I said that the genesis of Get Smart must have been quite interesting. What? I was talking about the genesis. Genesis! I'm a genius. Oh, thank you very much. That's kind of you. No, no, no. Not a genius. I, I mean, you are. You are. But, but uh, this, this is not working. Ed, raise the cone of silence. What? Raise the cone of silence! <laughs> Leonard, tell us about the genesis of Get Smart. (laughs) If you've enjoyed your journey on the TV time machine, please like and subscribe. We look forward to having you again on the TV time machine.